everyone, welcome back to Game Informer. Uh, I'm Elise Favis, and I'm here with Kim Wallace, our features editor. Hello, hello. And we're going to be taking a look at Rhyme, which I had the chance to uh, play some extended gameplay of that recently. Yeah, that was one of those games that looked really cool when Sony revealed it a few years ago and then just went away. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, we first saw it in 2013 when the first trailer came out at Gamescom and then, you know, Sony was behind that publishing it mm -hmm. uh, and then it kind of had a disappearing act for, for a few years. We had no updates and kind of just left the stage for a long time and then Tequila Works, who's the developer, they kind of came back and re reacquired the rights, got new publishers, and now they are, were ready to show off more of what Rhyme is. And they let you play it. So and they let me play it. We're going to see some of what you've played and, and yeah. talk about it. And we're going to point out five things that really stood out to us. You play as this young boy who kind of uh, washes up on shore on this mm -hmm. strange island, and you go around solving puzzles and trying to progress further and also just exploring and figuring out you know why you're here and what is this island all about because it's strange and magical and, yeah. and and has all these things going on i like this atmosphere already <laughs> so what's interesting is um like i said really based off exploration and puzzle solving um there's no combat but as you see they ran away from you there are animals that you'll encounter like this <laughs> boar and you can kind of manipulate him to help you open up a path. A path. Oh. So, like, here we're picking up fruit. I think animals like food, yeah. yeah that's <laughs> usually how you get them to do what you want. Sounds, sounds about right. Totally. <laughs> Luring him that yep. way so we can get through the branches. Now, how much would you say this is puzzle versus platformer? Would you say it's pretty equal in that regard? or? It, it makes me think a lot of inside, actually. Oh, okay. Um, because there is definitely a mix of, of platforming and climbing and exploring, but also a lot of environmental puzzles. And if you look here, mm -hmm. um, it's really cool because you can also like manipulate the day and night cycle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you kind of have to line up shadows to open up uh, new areas and stuff and get to explore all these interesting temples and stuff. And Now, how would you say were the puzzles that you've encountered? Difficulty-wise, would you say pretty fair? Yeah, um, I would say that they they use common sense for mm -hmm. the most part. Like, I never felt anything was too obtuse. If I just... Sometimes it takes a while to figure out what to do or where to go, because mm -hmm. the game never really tells you exactly what to do. You have, you have a fox companion who kind of guides you, but... Um, That's the only way you get any hints is from him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And also looking around your environment and sometimes even just looking at little murals and stuff will will help you figure out exactly uh, oh. what to do next. Oh. And this is an example of like a quote unquote enemy mm -hmm. where you can't attack this bird, but the bird can attack you. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the only choice really is to evade him uh, and, and take cover. As oh, you try to escape. Guy. That's what would happen. I'd be like, I'm going to make this jump and I'm going to fall <laughs> on my face <laughs> <And> <laughs> in the process. Yeah. Yeah. Rhyme is really minimalistic. You think of Shadow of the Colossus and Eco mm -hmm. in terms of just telling this narrative that's very vague and abstract. Mm -hmm. And you have to kind of look around. And sometimes you got to look at murals and stuff to, it'll give you a bit of a hint as mm -hmm. to what to do next. Um, Cause he never talks or anything. No, there's no words at all. Mm -hmm. Actually, even the UI is very minimal. Where you might just get some button prompts here mm -hmm. and there, but you're you're pretty much learning things as you go, which I really liked. It also helps the immersion I found, mm -hmm. where you just feel like you're exploring this place at your own pace and and you're all alone except for that bird that except for that <laughs> stupid bird who is still chasing us <laughs> oh no i could see him being like the big like oh, the yeah. uh, shark in abzu or whatever that just keeps coming oh, back for sure <laughs> but if you look up in the distance at the top here oh. you see this kind of cloaked figure and he comes around every once in a while and just watches and you and he watches you like from a, a distance yeah okay. he's super creepy <laughs> But um, it's funny because then when you try to chase him, or if sometimes if you look away, he just he's just gone. And yeah, so as you see, once again, there's these paintings mm -hmm. that give a little bit of a narrative context, um, but you still don't really know what's going on. Uh, it's, it's interesting. And this, the environments are just so gorgeous, mm -hmm. and the music goes so well with it. 
I just love this scene in particular. But I definitely find the games that it really is similar most to is Inside Journey and Eco, in particular. The exploration of Journey, minimalism of Eco, you know, and even some of the platforming and environmental puzzles of Inside. It's like all this really great blend of, of good games. What I find Rhyme does well is it teaches you different mechanics progressively. So like you'll learn that some jade statues, which is one here, um, you can interact with with your voice and that and it has different effects. Like it might move the ground or move walls for a certain period of time. And then it just kind of combines all these different skills that it teaches you to make more interesting puzzles. Creepy so, statues. Like many <laughs> puzzle games, you're gonna be moving crates around. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, that crate doesn't look like it wants to be moved though. <laughs> I like this puzzle too. Like the perspective puzzles where you gotta line things up. That one is a really simple one, but they definitely get more difficult as you go on. Like I think at one point I had to like change the day and night cycle and then also like move things around. There you go. Moving. This is an example of that. <laughs> you know, my final point, which we've already kind of touched upon a bit, is there really is so much variety from one area to the next. You don't feel like there's that much repetitivity, which is good, mm -hmm. and the tone changes so much from, from one place to the next that that helps a lot too. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed my time with Rhyme. I thought the puzzles were intuitive. I really liked the emphasis on exploration and puzzle solving that never felt too difficult, but also as it progresses, it's not necessarily all that easy either. Yeah, I like these tone shifts. I like the music, uh, just the overall aesthetic. I think the art style is really cool as well. Um, yep. It's definitely one that like I always wondered what happened to it, and I'm super excited that it's now back on track. Uh, what platforms is it coming to? Is PC, it Xbox One, and PS4. Okay, so yeah, it's no longer the PS4 exclusive. More people get to try it out, and that's awesome. Absolutely. Well, that's pretty much our look at Rhyme, I'd say. Mm -hmm. So, you know, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.